So this is my general setup. I've got my laptop. I've got the Firebox from Personas, which goes FireWire into my computer and has zero latency. And I've got my external hard drive, which is holding Superior Drummer 2.0. Now the cool thing about that is it comes from RET Percussion preloaded with all the software settings that you'll need. Now the first thing I notice when I pull up Superior Drummer 2.0 is the GUI. It's very clean looking and right off the bat I can see how much control they give us right here. Really quickly I've got uh, the Easy Mixer, right? The Easy Mixer controls all of the room and uh, kit microphones that we've got going on here from all of the kick drum mics, the snare drum top and bottom, you name it, all the rack toms, the hi-hats, the, uh, all of the ambient mics that they use. So I can bring up or down any of those microphones that I choose. Here in the center we've got the master volume which shows my decibel level. Um, if I get a nice mix of all my drums and microphones I can you know, boost that or lower that as I choose. I also have an instrument panel where I can bring up any of these kit pieces. Let's say it's the ride cymbal. And I can also raise and lower its individual volume. Now on to the mixer, right? Now as you can see it's pretty extensive. It's very impressive right off the bat. I can keep going with that all the way down. Here at the top it's got a, a section for inserts per kit piece. Now let's say I want to add a uh, compressor on my snare drum, just the top microphone. This drop down menu gives me the list of uh, effects that they've already included. An EQ, filter, gate, um, and here the compressor. Now here you can see that compression line. I can move around the threshold meter. I can change the level of attack per, for my kit piece. And uh, it's an overall, I mean, it adds a really great dynamic level to all of your playing. So I'll just set that there for my snare. And let's say for my kick drum, the uh, inside microphone, I want to put a little EQ on there, right? I want to make it uh, a really cool sound here. It gives me this straight line off the bat, and away I go. I'm just off making my own sounds. And once I do this, once I change all of these parameters, I can actually go into a Superior Drummer and uh, save this as a preset which is really nice. If I want to pull this up at any time for any other project, it's really simple to do. So here at the top, there's a presets drop-down menu that gives me pre-configured presets for this mixer. Now within there I've got uh, a 70s kit, Easy Drummer if I wanted to go to uh, a setting that sounds exactly like Easy Drummer, and just some really cool stuff. A lot, a lot of bleed if I want a bigger sound, a really tight studio sound, a dry kit. Just some really awesome stuff that comes right out of the box. And like I said, I've, I've saved a few presets of my own and can call those up at any time. So to create a choke for my crash symbol, what I'm doing here is I'm going to select my crash symbol of choice. And in the bottom right hand corner, there is an articulation drop down menu for that crash symbol. I'm going to select mute. You might say, well, this isn't working. I've tried everything and it's not working. Well, there's this little blue light that says edit articulation only. Now you've got to have that on if you just want to edit your mute sound for your cymbal. Now what happens when I selected mute is up here where it says envelope, I got to make sure that this other blue light is enabled and I bring my envelope completely straight down to 0 0.1 ms. Now as for the kit pieces, right, what do you have with Superior Drummer 2? Well, as far as toms, we've got a 10 inch and 12 inch GMS drum. Now, not only does it come with coated heads, but it also comes with clear heads. You know, you get that different sound here. Now we've also got 12 inch and 14 inch, both coated and clear heads. And we've got 16 inch GMS floor tom with, you guessed it, coated and clear head and 18 inch floor toms, big booming 18 inch floor toms, both coated in clear heads. Some of the symbols here, we've got an 18 inch Sabian HHX Stream Crash, 18 inch Sabian Jack Dijonette 
an Encore crash, and a nice 21-inch Sabian AA Explosion. Some really neat stuff here. Um, let's see, we've got some effects symbols, a 17-inch Evolution effects crash. We've got an Evolution Ozone crash. Just some really awesome stuff that you, that you won't find in most uh, software sets. Now here we've got a mini Chinese crash symbol. We've got an HH Extreme Crash slash 18-inch Evolution Ozone Crash. It's a nice stacked sound symbol. As far as rides, we've got the 21-inch Sabin Hand Hammered Vintage Ride. It's an awesome sounding uh, ride that you'll hear uh, in the beginning of this video, as well as the second video where I do a little more jamming. Kick drum, we've got an 18-inch by 22-inch GMS. We've got a tight 14-inch by 24-inch and a double-headed with G1-coded Evans head, 14 by 24. It's a really awesome open sound. It sounds great. Now, one of the cool things about going to NAMM this year was meeting the one and only Near Z. He's a really cool guy, like I mentioned. When he sat down at my kit, the one thing that he mentioned was that in Superior Drummer 2, there's going to be some really cool things, and I should check out the snare set section, which I did. You'll notice that inside the snare section, there's a Near Z custom snare, which sounds awesome. So, again, I'm going to go into that drop-down menu, real easy, and I'm going to select that, uh, that snare. Now, amongst that Near Z uh, custom snare, which sounds awesome, by the way, there's a Roger snare, a Ludwig Black Beauty snare, and then we get into the 13-inch GMS Piccolo snare, and believe it or not, there's actually a 10-inch snare in there. It's a, it's a nice pop sound if you're looking for something different. Here I'm selecting the Near Z Custom Snare. It loads right up. And uh, here I'm going to give you an example of both that snare and that choke that I enabled. So that's Superior Drummer 2.0. Hope you guys enjoyed. And like I said, I really, I just appreciate you guys watching these videos. If you feel like it, leave a comment, subscribe to my videos, check out the information on the right. Now, video two of this series houses most of the playing. I'm just kind of shedding on the kit. Don't make fun of me. Um, but seriously, I really do enjoy having Superior 2 into my my VPT package. You know, with the software craze. It's a really nice tool to have on hand. This is Mikey VPT signing out, and we'll see you in video two.